This is Neil Osterweil. I'm here with Dr. Apostolia Maria Cimberadu from MD Anderson Cancer Center. Uh, Dr. Cimberadu, uh, would you summarize your study for us, please? Yes, we performed molecular analysis in 1144 patients who were, uh, had advanced cancer and were referred for phase one clinical trials in our program. These patients had failed the standard of care, had a median of five prior therapies, and they had several tumor types. We found that 40, about 40% 40 of these patients had a molecular abnormality in their tumor. So we treated, when, whenever possible, these patients with much targeted therapy. We treated 175 patients with match therapy, and the comparison group was 116 patients without match therapy. And we found that the overall response rate, in pace, which means um, which includes complete response and partial response, in the in the patient group treated with match therapy was 27 percent versus 5 percent in the group who were treated without match therapy. This improvement in the response rate was also, also translated into improvement in time to treatment failure and also was associated with improvement in survival. The median time to treatment failure was 5.2 months in patients treated with match therapy versus 2.2 months there was the, uh, in the other group. Therefore, there was a three-month improvement in median time to treatment failure in patients treated with much therapy and there was also improvement in survival. The median survival was 13.4 months in patients treated with much therapy versus nine months in patients treated with non much therapy. And although this was not a randomized study, we, the, the improvement by 4.4 months in median overall survival is encouraging. Now you still had a significant number of patients who did not have responses. Do you think this could be because uh, you began four years ago with study and you didn't have all the molecular markers that are available today? Perhaps this is one reason. The other reason is these patients were heavily pretreated, had a five of prior uh, th they had uh, five prior therapies in average. In addition to this, we need to learn more about the genetics. We need to develop better uh, techno technological assays, and we hope that the multi with a multiplex assay we will be able to identify molecular abnormalities, hopefully in all patients one day. And this is our goal at MD Anderson during the next over the next five years. We hope that uh, through the Institute for Personalized Cancer Therapy, we'll be able to screen. Uh, all patients for uh, tumors for molecular aberrations and uh, will choose hopefully will choose therapy targeting these aberrations our ultimate goal is to have this all these tests as well as treatments uh, covered uh, by the patient's insurance uh, companies and eventually uh, the personalized medicine to become the standard of care thank you dr simberto thank you.